guys, it's Kelly and today I have a very exciting nail art tutorial for you. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use dried flowers in nail art. So today I am partnering up with Sir Colors. They recently came out with these really cute flower nail art sets. And basically all it is is a little container of dried flowers that you can use on your nails. And they're so super cute. I absolutely love them. As of right now, they do have three kits available, but I, I heard a little birdie chirping somewhere about there being potentially other colors coming soon so keep that in mind so let me show you guys the three different color kits and then I will show you guys the application process and three different fun ways to do them now just so you guys know this isn't the only way to do it you can really work however you want and these are just three different ideas but really your imagination is your limit you can do however you want whatever you want with these little flowers so it's really fun let me just get into it with you guys. So like I said, there are three different kits of flowers right now. We've got the yellow and orange flowers. We have the pink and red flowers. And then we have the purple flowers. So each kit comes with two larger flowers and then two clusters of different colored small flowers, as well as a little dried leaf thing. <laughs> I'm doing a really good job of explaining these. Just so you guys know, the Cirque website does have the names of the actual flowers. So if you guys are curious about that, I'll write them right here just so you guys can see that. But you can also check it out on the website. So when you first get the kit, and I'm sure this is the case for most kits just because of the way that it is transported, but all of the flowers are going to kind of stick together. So it seems like you just have one teeny tiny clump of flowers, but I just separated them out so you guys can see what each of the kit looks like and what each of the flowers are. So don't be alarmed if you get it and it looks like it's just one little tiny flower. They're all just probably stuck together. So the first step that you want to do is separate them out so you can see exactly what you have and you can kind of plan out your manicure. Now the second step, and this applies for any different type of nail art that I'm showing you guys today and that is to cut up the flowers. So these flowers are super small and delicate. If you want you can honestly just kind of rip them apart. For me I like a little bit more of a precision to my nail art in general. So I use tweezers to hold them and then I used a tiny manicure scissor just to cut the flowers and the leaves into the size that I wanted. And once they're nice and small that's how I am going to work with them for these three different kits. So let me show you guys all the different ways. The first way is the easiest and that is just going with like a random cluster of flowers on your nails. The second is framing and then the third is little bouquets. So yeah, let's just jump into the nail art roll footage. All right, so for the first manicure, I'm going to use the pink and red flowers. For this one, I'm going to be using the Cirque base coat, the sheer nail polish chiffon and the Cirque Top Coat. So as with every manicure, I am just starting off with my clean natural nail and I'm going to apply my base coat. And then once that's completely dry, I'm gonna go in with two coats of the shade Chiffon. So I'm gonna go in with the first coat. I'm just going to paint that on, let it dry normally. I usually wait a couple of minutes in between layers. And then I'm gonna work quickly here. So with the second layer, I am going to apply it and then I'm going to immediately start placing the flowers in the tacky nail polish. Now. Cirque actually recommends on their website that you apply two coats of color and then do this with your still tacky top coat. But I feel like for me, it was just a little bit easier to work with the actual base color rather than the top coat. So it's really up to you. You might want to do a little practice nail and see what works better for you. For me, it was just this way worked a little bit better. So this is the first and easiest method because basically what I am doing is just randomly placing the flowers onto my nail and I am working with the smaller flowers but I do still have relatively bigger pieces. If you want you can even cut these down further or pluck them with a tweezer and just make it so that they're tiny little petals. It's really up to you whatever you prefer and how you want to apply it but for me I just thought this was the best option. I thought it looked really cute and it was just like a nice little I don't know wash of flowers across my nail. So this was how I went with that. So before I apply my top coat what I'm gonna do is I'm just lightly pressing the flowers onto my nail just to make sure that they're laying flat and nothing's going to fall off when I start applying my top coat. And then I'm going to go in with a nice thick coat of the glossy top coat. What I recommend for this is let that dry and then go in with a second coat of top coat just to make sure that there isn't any sort of flowers poking out of the top coat. You want to make sure that the manicure is nice and smooth and leveled out. You can see here as it's starting to dry a little bit of those flowers 
flowers are starting to come out. So that is why I always recommend doing a second coat if you're working with three-dimensional products like this. Okay, so now moving on to the orange and yellow flowers. Once again, I am using the Cirque base coat, the sheer polish called linen, and I'm also going to be using the Cirque top coat. So once again, like I said, I always start every manicure just with my clean natural nail and I apply a coat of base coat and let that dry completely. And we're gonna work the same way that we did last time. We're just placing the flowers a little bit differently. So once again, I am just going in with that first coat, letting that dry completely, and then moving on to my second coat and then I'm going to be working pretty quickly from there. So just going in with that second layer and then while that is drying, that's when I'm going to start applying the flowers onto my nails. So what I like to do is have all of the flowers cut up and ready before I move on to this step and then have everything almost laid out so I know which flowers I am going for. So in this example, I am going to be framing my nails with the orange and yellow flowers. Basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be applying the flowers and the leaves across the outer edges of my nails, just exactly what it sounds like, framing my nails. So for this, I am mostly going in a pattern just to make sure that I'm not putting two colors of the same flower right next to each other, just to kind of make it look like a little pattern. So I am just going in and basically doing like orange flower, yellow flower, and then either a leaf or another orange flower. And then it just kind of creates this little pattern around my nails. This is my favorite of the three designs. I feel like this looks so cute. I've never done any type of framing my nails before, but this makes me want to try different nail art where I'm framing my nails. So once again, just going to pat that into my nails just to make sure that nothing's sticking out. And then I'm going to be applying a nice thick coat of top coat. And once again, you don't have to work with flowers as big as what I did here. I am just doing this because I liked the size of those particular flowers. But as you can see, this turned out so cute. I am really obsessed with this framing. I think it's absolutely adorable. So definitely my favorite. All right, and then finally, the purple flower design. Once again, just gonna be using that Cirque base coat as well as the Sheer Polish Organza and the Cirque top coat. So once again, just starting off with my natural nail and applying my base coat. And then once that's fully dry, I am going to go in with two coats of the shade Organza. So once again, just going in with that first coat, applying it, letting it dry completely. And then we're gonna move on to the second coat more quickly from there. So here I am applying that second coat and what I like to do is one nail at a time so I apply the second coat and then I work with all of the flowers on that one nail and then I'll move on to the next nail I'll apply that second coat so hopefully that makes sense for you guys but you want to work quickly before that polish dries so in this case I am cutting these stems to be a little bit longer of these flowers and what I'm gonna do is almost like this bouquet kind of design on my nails so I'm just gonna put like two or three flowers on each nail and I'm going to have them all start off at the same base and kind of branch out almost like it's like a little vase of flowers. And I'm also gonna be doing like a little accent of using the leaves. And those leaves are gonna be just a slight bit bigger than what I have been using in previous designs. Again, because I'm kind of doing this little bouquet instead of doing like tiny little bits of flowers. So super easy to apply. Here is how I did a little detail nail because we also have those really beautiful larger flowers and they fit perfectly on the nail if you just wanna have one big flower on your nail as a detail. So that's what I'm showing you guys right here. Just applying that and then gently pressing it down once that is mostly dry. And once again, just finishing everything off with a nice thick coat or two of top coat. And then that is the final design for the little bouquet. And again, I have that little detail flower there. Each kit does come with two larger flowers, so you can do a detail nail on each hand. So like I said, this is just three out of the many ways that you can use this and you can do however you want. There's no rules to this type of nail art as long as you are just having a good time and you like the outcome. And honestly, with these kits, they're pretty foolproof. This is the first time I have ever used any sort of dried flower or anything on my nails. And I feel like the application was so easy, but these, I just feel like there's no wrong place to put the flowers. It's just kind of wherever they land and that's it. <laughs> and it always ends up looking good just because I feel like it's got that like, I don't know, flowery vibe. That's what that means. <laughs> 
But yeah, so each of these kits are on the Cirque Colors website. They retail for $3.50 USD per flower kit. You can also get the polishes that I used underneath the flowers on the Cirque Colors website. So I'll link all of that down below. And yeah, honestly, really loving these kits. I think they're super fun. The amount of flowers that are in here, it's kind of dependent how long your nails are and how you do your nail art to determine how many manicures you can get out of this. If you're the type of person that just wants to have one or two details nails with the flowery accent. You can get a ton of manicures out of this. If you want to do one full manicure with flowers on every single nail, you might get one manicure and then some left over to do a few different detail nails. And then if you have really long nails, this might only be for one full manicure for you guys. So it's really dependent on that and it also depends on how small you're cutting the pieces up. Overall, I feel like it's a very affordable price and it's very cute. I love the little kits. I love how they're organized. So overall, definitely worth it. But yeah, I would love to hear from you guys. What do you think of these kits? Let me know in the comments below. I know these sold out pretty much immediately when they first came out, so I wanted to wait for a restock before I showed you guys so that you would be able to grab them as well. Would love to hear your thoughts. What do you think of these flowers and which of the three nail arts that I showed you guys did you like the best? Let me know in the comments. And if you guys enjoyed this little nail art tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. Let's me know I'm doing a good job. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. So that is it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. So fun fact, again, still going off of questions that you guys have asked me. One of you guys asked me what my favorite flavor of ice cream is. And as I've told you guys in the past, I do not eat dairy. So it kind of limits me in the flavors that I get to have. Although I will say in the last few years, there have been strides made. Very excited to say that the majority of the ice cream places that I go to have non-dairy options, which is so cool. But overall, I actually really do love ice cream and I probably get a pint of ice cream like almost every time I go to the grocery store. I personally I personally like chocolate chip cookie dough the best. There's this one particular brand, I think it's called So Delicious, and I don't even know if it's coconut milk or what, but it's just basically vanilla ice cream, and the only thing I live for is those little chunks of chocolate chip cookie dough and it's delicious. But in real life, like before I went non-dairy, I would say my favorite ice cream flavor was probably strawberry or you know those places that would have vanilla ice cream, but they were like rainbow colored? That would always be my favorite too. So <laughs> yeah, so that is it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.